The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila, has expressed displeasure over the outcome of the primaries conducted, which, according to him, led to massive losses by some members of the legislature. Now, Bajabia Mila, who stated this at the resumption of the plenary, said that the outcome of the process shows a complete disregard for the nation's democratic process, but promised that the legislative arm will continue to fight for democracy and the institution. I know and I'm aware that members, many of our members did not lose their primaries because they were rejected by their constituents. No, far from it. Many of our members lost because of the process. The process which we foresaw in the House of Representatives. The delegate system, which unfortunately is not what a delegate system is supposed to be. Many of our Lemon members lost because they were not even given a fair shake or a fair shot. We have good legislators, both here in chambers and back home, who, may not, who are probably not coming back because of this same process. When we fought for direct primaries in this house, we knew exactly what we were saying. And it is that fight and the kick and the pushback by many who knew or felt they knew what they wanted to do that has now been, become the bane of the institution of the legislature. The speaker said he will invoke Order 18 3G to commit the bills to the committee and also promise to take advantage of the ongoing constitutional amendment process by the committee and constitutional review to look into critical areas for an amendment like the gender neutrality or empowerment bill and come to a consensus. I have long believed that legislative control of the public purse is one of the most important and consequential responsibilities. Since we resumed office, we have been responsible for passing three appropriation acts with, with trillions of naira in public expenditure included therein. In this our final year in office, it should be a matter of the highest priority for us to thoroughly review the implementation of those appropriation acts across the, across the ministries, departments, and agencies of the federal government of Nigeria. I urge the chairman and members of the oversight com committees of the House to begin now to undertake this review and to prepare reports that will be considered by the House and form part of the legacy of this Ninth Assembly. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.